Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Nyanumba Codes. Now, as we have come back here, I have something that I had to show you real quick. Um, this is some discovery that I made in the process of actually building this particular application over here, which is the booking engine. And what this booking engine has to offer is there's a client's login that is separate from the administrator's login. And this has been created by the use of multiple authentication guards. So now in the process of creating this whole application as a whole, there's a whole situation that has to play in your mind. First things first, we have all these routes, all right? We have the rooms, we have the offers, contact, and all that stuff, which is accessible to anybody. Then we have the dashboard. And this dashboard is only supposed to be accessible to clients. And clients can log in at this particular point here. So we come in here, we put our email, and we put our password. And we come in and log in, okay? So once we log in, we are able to access our dashboard, which is over here, client dashboard, as you can see. So now once we come in here and log out, it will direct us to this dashboard, definitely. But then now, because we can't access this dashboard, it has to redirect us to the login page. And that's how we go about that. So there's the dashboard situation. And then, of course, because we are already logged in, then we have to come in here and try client slash login, which was the page that we came from before. So if we come in here and try that, you can see we have our 404. No, it shouldn't be like this. I think it's a client hyphen login. Yeah, and you can see we did a client hyphen login and then we got redirected from the login page to the dashboard because we already logged in. Now, if we come in here and log out, it will redirect us to the login page. Okay, if we go to register, register and login are pretty much the same thing. All right, so if we come and click on register, and uh, yes, we want to register. But now, because we want to, we, we can log in, we'll come in here and just put key in our details. All right, and because we are already logged in, all right, if we come in here and try to access the register, then you can see we get redirected back to the dashboard very instantly. So how does that work? And then also on top of that, before we even move on forward, um, we'll go to the admin routes. So we'll just come in here and try to go to the admin dashboard, of which it will require us to log in as well. So in terms of logging in as an admin, it's a different login. Although the session of the booking engine client is already there, we already have our login for the administrator of which when we log in, we're able to actually get in at this point. So how does this work generally? Because I mean, I'd imagine that if uh, the booking engine area, I'll be able to see that I'm logged in as the client. So this is a client, this is a client login. If I log out over here, doesn't mean that my session that over, that's over here is also logged out, all right? But it does because if we look at the uh, situation of the route that we have created here inside our booking engine. So we'll go to our routes here and then what we've done here is we've come in here and logged out the client and then we've invalidated the session and then we've regenerated the token. Okay. So given that that's the situation, okay, given that that's the situation, then every time I log out as a client, then it's going to log me out in all fronts. All right, but if I log out as an admin, then it's not going to log me out. Now I've logged in as a, an admin, but if I come in here, I'm still not logged in as a client. So how does the whole general aspect of creating multiple authentication guards work? Well, I'm just going to go in and, and show you the code and walk you through it and how to go about this. So if you want to start, first of all, the first thing is if you have this client model, we're talking about authenticating the client, then this class, first of all, has to extend the authenticatable, which is found over here. OK, Illuminate Founder Foundation Auth User, which is the same way it has imported inside our users table. The default users table is always going to extend authenticatable just like that. 
Okay. Now, when we come to our client situation, I've also imported in all the other classes that it uses. This is not necessary, but I do it so that the user's table and the client's table have not much difference. The only difference now is the number of um, you know, the number of columns that are in the database and the number of fillables that we have to put in here so that we can use the create function inside this model. Um, then the next thing, of course, is to create the middleware. The middleware are usually created through this uh, situation. We use a PHP artisan make middleware and I've created two middlewares. One that checks if the client is authenticated and the other one that checks if the client is not. And the reason, there's a reason for the two, okay? The first one that I mentioned that checks if the client is not authenticated redirects to where the client is supposed to authenticate themselves. So it checks if the client is not logged in, then redirect this person to the login page. If they are logged in, then take them to the next request. Now, the second part is this one, where we redirect if the client is authenticated. So we check if the client is actually authenticated. If the client is actually authenticated, then redirect them to a different page from where they are supposed to access. Otherwise, redirect them to the next request, which is probably the login and the register. Now, the reason why we have these two different kinds of middleware, one that checks that the client is not authenticated and one that checks if the client is, is because of what we have inside our web routes over here. So we'll come in here and check if this client, okay, is authenticated. We'll check if the client is authenticated or if, if, the, if the client is authenticated. If they are not, then, well, okay, this request over here, this middleware over here, the guest client checks if the client is not authenticated. If they are authenticated, then they re, they're getting redirected back to the dashboard, okay? If they are not, then these other requests come into play, the login and the register. So in the counter situation is, if the client is authenticated, all right, then these routes are all accessible to the client that is already authenticated. That's why this middleware over here is in play. Okay, so that's how we look at it and the perspective of these particular routes uh, right now. So now, how do we register them? How do we go about having this uh, middleware in play? Well, I wasn't supposed to show you the web routes just then, but if I come into these middlewares, we have to register them, of course. And to register them in, boot, in, in um, Laravel version 11, we have to go to our app, boot, uh, in our Bootstrap, actually. And then we have to, so it's not inside app. We go to Bootstrap, and then we go to app.php. And then we come in here, and in the mid, with middleware function over here is where we register our different routes. We have the auth client, and we have the guest client. Okay, we register those middleware like so, and then we move on from there. Now, in the process of also having this done, we also have to register them in terms of being able to access them as guards. And being able to access them as guards is very crucial. So we'll just go to app, then we'll go to, actually we won't go to app, we'll go to config, and then we'll go to auth, all right? So this is where we register our different guards all right, and then you can see over here we have our defaults, right? So if you see a function like auth, all right, just like that, if you see a, a function like auth, like this, then it's going to automatically use a particular guard from the very beginning. We have our defaults that have been set up over here. Our defaults are this guard is using the auth guard, being the default is the web. And it checks our .env to see which one is going to be our default authentication guard. So if we come in here and check uh, like the auth guard, which is actually not declared, it's actually not even declared, but we could declare it. If it's not declared, then it's going to go ahead and use the default as the web. Then we have the passwords, all right? So passwords, it's going to come in here and use auth password broker. If, not, if it's not existing, then it's going to use the default as the users. All right, so all these things, the auth guard and the auth password broker, they can all be defined inside the .env. And when we come to the guard section over here, this is where we register our new guard. We have the web guards over here, which uses the provider as the user's table. 
okay? But now we have to register our new guard. Our new guard over here is going to be the client guard, okay? So this client guard is going to use the session driver and then it's going to be using the client as a provider. Then we move on forward and use the provider's situation, all right? So we have the client as a provider, just as we have users also as a provider over here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to define the client's uh, driver being eloquent and then the model coming in from the client's model. And then we move on forward and look at passwords, all right? So we have the password situation over here where we have users. Okay, so we have the provider being users and then the table coming in from the password reset token. And then we, of course, there's expiry and there's a throttle and all those different things, all those different uh, situations, right? We're not going to define any other passwords over here because the ones that coming, they're coming in from the client's model are enough. And yeah, we move on forward from that point onwards. And then, of course, we have the password timeout. That's the structure of the authentication, uh, the auth config file over here. So the only thing we're going to add over here is the client's provider and also the guard's provider. Now we move on forward to the routes. And now, the, now that we've defined all these, right, actually in the process of creating all this, this should actually be the second step. The then the third step that follows is always going to be the middleware over here where we have to check this authentication guard, client check, and all those different things. So you check if they're authenticated and you check if they're not authenticated and so on and so forth. Now we move on forward to the routes and now the route is where we define how we're going to have this. So the guest.client is the one that we defined as the redirect if authenticated, okay? So it redirects to the client dashboard if this user is authenticated. If they're not, then it passes on to the next request. The next request being the situation over here where we have the login and the register. So that is what is happening here. If this client is authenticated, they should not be able to access the client login and the client register uh, routes. But if they are logged in, then they, I mean, sorry, if they are logged in, they shouldn't be able to access these routes. But if they aren't logged in, we have a different definition for that. We have to go over here and actually check this part over here, okay? So we have the prefix over here for the authentication, client, the middleware for the auth, auth client over here, which now checks if the client is not authenticated, then they have to be redirected to either login or register. Well, login in this situation, right? So now they have to come in here and look at the dashboard, the profile, the bookings, the create edit, and edit. Those are routes that are protected by this middleware. If the client is not authenticated, these routes cannot be accessed. And now that's how we move. So all those definitions, all those uh, reliance, in fact, uh, there's this part over here that we probably wouldn't even need to uh, have. And uh, that's, that's essentially what we're going to do here. So if we come in here and we log in, let's say, let's log in as both the, this user and we've logged in. And now we also come in here and check our login situation over here with this particular user, with this, the, the administrator. So now when we come to the part where we have this, if we log out here, it should only log out the client. But inside here, it shouldn't log out the administrator, okay? So now once we log out as the administrator, that's when we're redirected back to the home page, okay? And now the only way for the administrator to be able to access that part is by going to the admin dashboard, and then they're they are asked, they're prompted to log in. And that's how things work. So this uh, application so far has been built with Livewire, but I'm sure this applies to each and every single other uh, Laravel package and Laravel uh, starter pack. I'm sure it can apply to even the default Laravel uh, scaffolding. So I'm sure you guys are going to have a blast with this kind of information that I've given you. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to close off the video. Please like, share and subscribe. And I hope as always you've learned any something new. If there's anything that you guys have to query, please leave it in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next one. Please do indeed take care and as always, may God bless you all.